Hmm. I wonder what lives here. Let's take a closer look in the plants and see what we discover. Wow! There are so many plants and animals living together in this habitat. Let's make a habitat of our own. Let's start by adding some rocks and branches. Let's keep going. Plants. Flowers. Now we can choose a plant to add. You can always use my book to learn more information. Leafy plants are good food for lots of bugs. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals. Lots of different animals live together here. Let's pick one and learn what happens. Worm. Leaf cutter ant. Tap on the things in the tray to learn about them. When you are ready to add something, tap the book to close it. Earthworms have an important job in making soil healthy for plants, and they're also food for other animals. The ants' sharp mouth parts help them cut leaves into smaller pieces so they can carry them. Ants live in large groups. They work together to collect leaves to take back to their nests. Ants are super strong for their size. They can carry 50 times their body weight. The jaws of leafcutter ants work like a pair of scissors to cut leaves into pieces. Snail. Bark centipede. Snails are food for animals like birds and snakes. Bark centipedes eat small insects. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different animals can be found living here. I wonder what we'll find. Ladybug larva. Aphid. Ladybug larva eat lots and lots of aphids. Aphids are important foods for insects, like ladybugs. These are larvae, or baby ladybugs. How will they need to change to be adult ladybugs?
We can take a closer look at the plants and animals with this magnifying glass. I notice a ladybug larva has a long, bumpy body. What do you notice? I notice the snail's shell covers its soft body. What do you notice? The snail slime, or mucus, helps them move across different surfaces. Rough green snake. Orb weaver spider. The rough green snake eats insects, spiders, and snails. Orb weaver spiders catch lots of different kinds of insects in their web to eat. The green snake's color helps it to blend in with the leaves on bushes and trees. The green snake has great vision, which helps it see its food. I notice the snake has a bright green body. What do you notice? Aphid, orb weaver spider. Aphids are very small and can move quickly. Aphids can be many different colors. Yellow, orange, green, red, blue, purple, brown, or black. Aphids have soft bodies and two antenna. Let's keep exploring. Honeybee. Five-lined skink. Honeybees tell each other where food is in a special way. They do something called a waggle dance with their bodies. I notice the honeybee has two sets of wings. It has bigger ones in the front and smaller ones in the back. Honeybees flap their wings very fast, which is why it sounds like they're buzzing. Monarch Caterpillar Yellow Jacket Wasp Wasps live in groups called colonies. I notice the yellow jacket's body has a yellow and black pattern. The yellow jacket protects itself with its stinger when it feels threatened or frightened. Five-lined skink. Monarch caterpillar. Caterpillars are the baby form of butterflies. I wonder what colors and patterns this butterfly will have. Mm -hmm. 
Monarch caterpillars eat a lot of food. That helps them get enough energy to turn into a butterfly later. You can spot a monarch caterpillar by its yellow, white, and black stripe pattern. Monarch butterflies feed on nectar from flowers using their proboscis, a long tube that lets them drink up the nectar. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. The ladybug is now an adult. It has a red shell with spots on it. I noticed this ladybug is red with black spots, but ladybugs can be lots of different colors, and some have no spots at all. I noticed the ladybug has six legs and antenna. That means it's an insect, but it's a type of insect called a beetle. American Robin, Loggerhead Shrike, I noticed the robin has a bright red chest. What do you notice? The robin has a bright yellow beak and white circles around its eyes. We finished our habitat. I love nature. Let's keep exploring. You can keep exploring or you can make another habitat. Do you want to start a new habitat? Look at all the living things you've discovered. Tap on them to learn more. Ladybug. Bumblebee. Aphid. Leaf cutter ant. Honeybee. Monarch butterfly. Monarch caterpillar. Snail. Rough green snake. American Robin. Ladybug Larva. Look at all the living things you've discovered. 